good morning today's quote is in order to succeed in order to succeed your desire for success should be greater than your fear of failure in order to succeed your desire for success should be greater than your fear of failure today's word is solace a person or thing that makes you feel better or happier when you are sad or disappointed the student took solace in music actually these sums are not given in the textbook but these are important number 1 prove that the medians of the triangle are concurrent in fact we uh, have used this result number of times not only that we have used centroid formula also now we are going to prove this using vector method let a bar b bar c bar be the position vectors of the vertices abc of triangle abc and d bar e bar f bar be the position vectors of the midpoints def of sides bc ca and ab respectively by midpoint formula what is d bar b bar plus c bar upon 2 what is e bar c bar plus a bar upon 2 and what is f bar a bar plus b bar upon 2 and this is interesting uh, cross multiply so 2d bar is what b bar plus c bar 2e bar c bar plus a bar 2f bar a bar plus b bar now next step is important see here add a bar to both the sides here add b bar to both the sides and here you have to add c bar to both the sides okay now just divide by 3 but write 3 as 2 plus 1 so you will notice that 2d bar plus a bar upon 2 plus 1 is 2e bar plus b bar upon 2 plus 1 is 2f bar plus c bar upon 2 plus 1 each is what a bar plus b bar plus c bar upon 3 we say let this be g bar this shows that the point g whose position vector is g bar lies on all the three medians ad b and cf dividing each of them internally in the ratio 2 is to 1 you will notice that greater part is towards the apex that is vertex hence the medians are concurrent in the point g and its position vector is a bar plus b bar plus c bar upon 3 this point of concurrence of the medians of a triangle is called centroid of the triangle right then prove that bisectors of the angles of a triangle are concurrent and that point of concurrence is known as in center of the triangle let a bar b bar c bar be the position vectors of the vertices abc of triangle abc and let the lengths of the sides bc ca and ab be xyz respectively usually we consider length of side bc as small a but here we will not do that because a is nothing but or a is considered as magnitude of vector a bar and therefore we take bc as x and not as a the segments ad b and cf are the bisectors of the angles abc respectively now you should know that from geometry d divides d divides side bc in the ratio of remaining sides that is in the ratio ab is to ac that is z is to y e divides side ac in the ratio ba is to bc that is z is to x and f divides side ab in the ratio ac is to bc that is y is to x hence by section formula what are the position uh, vectors of points d e and f d bar is z c bar plus y b bar upon z plus y and so on in this case also cross multiply now next part is uh, interesting see here we add x a bar to both the sides here we add y b bar to both the sides and here see the cursor we add z c bar to both the sides 
you will notice that each has RHS x a bar plus y b bar plus z c bar. I divide throughout by x plus y plus z, but it is written as y plus z plus x here. Here it is written as z plus x plus y, and here x plus y plus z. Why? Because section formula is in that form only. Let each be p bar. This shows that the point P, whose position vector is p bar, lies on three bisectors AD, B, and CF. Dividing them in the ratio y plus z is two x, z plus x is two y, and x plus y is two z respectively. Hence, the three bisector segments are concurrent in the point whose position vector is. See, while solving sums, you can use this as standard result. What is the position vector? X a bar plus y b bar plus z c bar upon x plus y plus z. This point of concurrence of the bisectors is called in center of triangle ABC. Now we are going to discuss important part in vectors that is vector products. Actually, this part you have already studied in 11th standard in physics, scalar product and cross product, but we will discuss both the products in detail. The first one is scalar product which is also called as dot product. Let me explain. If A bar and B bar are two vectors in space, which are inclined at an angle theta, then we define the dot product, that is scalar product of these vectors as A bar dot B bar equal to mod of A bar mod of B bar cos theta or just a bar dot b bar equal to a b cos theta. Please do not put any dot after a or after b. Put dot here only. Now as dot is used in the product, it is called as dot product. Why scalar? Because the result is a scalar quantity. Now what are the properties of scalar product? See, A and B are magnitudes of the vectors A bar and B bar. So clearly, A bar and rather A and B are non-negative. Suppose theta is an acute angle, then cos theta is positive. So in this case, if A bar and B bar are non-zero vectors, what can you say about dot product? Yes, it is positive real number. Suppose theta is an obtuse angle, then cos theta is negative. So in this case, if A bar and B bar are non-zero vectors, what can you say about their dot product? It is negative real number. Now, third case is very important. If theta is 90 degree, what is cos theta? Cos 90 degree, which is zero. So if two vectors, A bar and B bar, are non-zero vectors and their dot product is zero, they are perpendicular to each other. So if you are asked to discuss the perpendicularity or if you are asked to examine whether the vectors are orthogonal means perpendicular, you have to show that their dot product or you have to find the dot product. If dot product equal to zero, vectors are at right angles. Okay. Now A bar rather what is B bar dot A bar? It is B A cos theta, same as A B cos theta, which is nothing but A bar dot B bar. That is vector product, I'm sorry, that is scalar product is commutative. Uh, you must have seen that the vector product, that is cross product is not commutative, but the scalar product is, okay? Suppose A bar and B bar are parallel. Then what is A bar dot B bar? A bar dot B bar is simply A B. Why? Because it is actually A B, <coughs> sorry, A B cos zero, but cos zero is one. So it is just A B. In particular, this is important. A bar dot A bar 
is nothing but a square or basically it is mod of a bar square so square of the modulus listen to me carefully square of the modulus square of the modulus is self dot product i repeat the statement square of the modulus is self dot product okay yes now the next part is uh, important we would like to obtain a bar dot b bar in terms of i cap j cap and k cap now what will be i cap dot i cap it will be same as j cap dot j cap same as k cap dot k cap why because i cap j cap k cap are unit vectors and self dot product is square of the magnitude unit vector so magnitude is 1 so it is just 1 now i cap j cap k cap are at right angles so it is i cap dot j cap it is same as j cap dot k cap same as k cap dot i cap equal to 0 basically it is 1 1 cos 90 degree cos 90 degree equal to 0 okay so we can use this now we begin with let a bar is a1 i that is a1 i cap plus a2 j cap plus a3 k cap okay and b bar equal to b1 i cap plus b2 j cap plus b3 k cap our aim is to obtain is to obtain dot product in terms of components of i cap j cap k cap uh, of course here we have to assume that the dot product is distributive okay now i will not uh, write all the steps i hope you will understand this see when we take the dot product so a1 i dot b1 i we have seen that i dot i same as j dot j same as k dot k that is 1 so can i write a1 b1 directly so this is a1 b1 plus now tell me see the cursor a1 i dot b2 j but i dot j equal to 0 i dot k is also 0 right plus what is a2 j dot b1 i j dot i is again zero so a2 j dot b2 j so plus a2 b2 what is j dot j one i hope you can get this finally we have to find a3 k dot b3 k why not a3 k dot b1 i and so on because they are zero so plus a3 b3 okay so this expression <coughs> is very important so how to take the dot product of two vectors product of components of i cap plus product of components of j cap plus product of components of k cap for example uh, if a bar is i minus j plus k and b bar is say 2i plus k then what is a bar dot b bar a bar dot b bar is product of components of i cap so 1 into 2 plus product of components of j cap i will directly write zero because j cap is not present in b bar plus 1 into 1 so it is nothing but 3 a bar dot b okay yes. now next part is finding angle between two vectors and when i say angle by that i mean acute angle suppose we consider a bar say as a1 i cap plus a2 j cap plus a3 k cap and what is b bar it is uh, b1 i cap plus b2 j cap plus b3 k cap now we know that a bar dot b bar is what a bar dot b bar is nothing but ab cos theta initially i am not finding acute angle i'll say cos theta is a bar dot b bar upon ab now we know that a bar dot b bar is nothing but a1 b1 plus uh, a2 b2 
plus uh, a three b three. Can you tell me magnitude of a bar? It is root of a one square plus uh, a two square plus uh, a three square. Do not put dot here. What is mod of uh, b bar? It is magnitude of vector b bar. It is b one square plus uh, b two square plus uh, b three square. Okay. Now, if I say that theta is an acute angle, denominator can never be negative because it is the product of magnitudes. But numerator can be, and therefore we say it is mod of. Okay. So this is the formula to find. the acute angle theta between two vectors a bar and b bar suppose two vectors are at right angles then theta is 90 cos 90 is 0 so numerator must be 0 so what is the criterion a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3 equal to 0 for perpendicular vectors and conversely okay now the last interesting part is projection now we discuss uh, projections let a bar and b bar be two vectors represented by oa bar and ob bar respectively such that angle between them is what theta let bc be uh, perpendicular from b to oa then oc is called scalar projection of b bar on the line of a bar now in right triangle ocb can you tell me what is cos theta cos theta is nothing but oc upon ob oc upon ob now you will ask me why cos why not sin because oc should be involved and that is why i have to consider i'm sorry uh, i should have Shown this, yes, this angle is theta. Okay, so tell me what is OC? Rearrange the terms. It is OB cos theta, but for OB I will write B. So B cos theta. Okay, so what is the scalar projection of B bar on the line of A bar? It is B cos theta. Now tell me what is A bar dot B bar? A bar dot B bar is nothing but AB cos theta. okay so can i say that a bar dot b bar is a and for b cos theta i can say it is scalar projection or i just write projection projection of b bar on a bar i hope you are getting this so if somebody asks you what is the geometrical interpretation of dot product then you should say that a bar dot b bar that is this dot product is a projection of b bar on a bar or can i say that it is b projection of a bar on the line of b bar yes i can okay now vector projection see when i say vector projection clearly it is a vector quantity so vector projection this is usually known as in exam and by projection we mean scalar projection only unless and until it is mentioned that find vector projection please do not find vector projection just find scalar projection so vector projection of b bar on a bar is defined as mod of oc bar that is oc a cap let me explain what is a cap a cap is unit vector which is along a bar so can i find the expression for this tell me what is oc oc is nothing but b cos theta that is we have already written this as a bar dot b bar upon a okay and therefore 
Oh, what is a uh, vector projection of B bar on A bar? I'm writing right. B bar on A bar. It is nothing but OC A cap. What is OC? OC is nothing but A bar dot B bar upon A. Okay, A cap. But what is A cap? A cap is nothing but A bar. upon a okay and therefore this is the formula of course of course i have to include modulus sign here why just a minute uh, when i say vector projection clearly it is a vector quantity okay so yes it is a vector quantity why because i have introduced uh, i have introduced a bar so a bar dot b bar upon a then a bar upon a that is a bar dot b bar upon a square a bar so yes because see when i say vector projection it is it should be a vector quantity and not a scalar quantity now this is scalar see the cursor this is scalar this is scalar this is scalar so scalar multiple of this vector okay so this is about vector projection of b bar on a bar what will be the vector projection of a bar on b bar it will be a bar dot b bar upon b and here b bar upon just b or mod of b okay but remember when you are asked to find projection of a bar on the line of b bar you have to find scalar projection on b bar so uh, this is about dot product actually in the textbook after this they have uh, given the concept of or they have explained the concept of direction angles and direction cosines but we will not discuss that first we will solve sums on scalar product and then i'll explain the concept of direction cosines and direction ratios uh, exercise 5.3 first sum find two unit vectors each of which is perpendicular to both u bar and v bar see this sum is based on cross product of two vectors uh, if you know the cross product what is the speciality of u bar cross v bar u bar cross v bar is perpendicular to the plane containing both u bar and v bar but we haven't done cross product here right so we will solve this afterwards second if a bar and b bar are two vectors perpendicular to each other prove that a bar plus b bar square is a bar minus b bar square i repeat square of the vector is self dot product so write down i say a bar perpendicular to b bar so what is a bar dot b bar it is same as b bar dot a bar which is nothing but zero okay now what is lhs lhs is nothing but a bar plus b bar square which is nothing but a bar plus b bar dot a bar plus b bar this is very important square of the vector means self dot product okay now self <coughs> dot product is square of the magnitude <coughs> okay so after this i will write a bar dot a bar plus a bar dot b bar plus b bar dot a bar plus b bar dot b bar actually even if i say square of the magnitude it will not help here so i will use distributive law dot product distributes over vector addition dot product distributes over vector addition so a bar dot a bar plus a bar dot b bar plus b bar dot a bar plus b bar dot b bar now this is nothing but 
this is nothing but mod of a bar square or you can just say a square this is equal to 0 this is nothing but 0 and this is mod of b bar square so what is lhs it is mod of a bar square plus mod of b bar square or just write a square plus b square now what is rhs rhs is nothing but a bar minus b bar square that is a bar minus b bar dot a bar minus b bar same logic dot product distributes over vector addition or subtraction because what is a bar minus b bar it is a bar plus negative of the vector b bar so a bar dot a bar minus a bar dot b bar minus b bar dot a bar plus b bar dot b bar now they are given to be perpendicular we cannot assume that it is given so mod of a bar square minus 0 minus 0 plus mod of b bar square now can i say lhs equal to rhs yes i can so here i'll directly write this is lhs And therefore, mod of a bar plus b bar square, not mod of a bar plus b bar square, is a bar minus b bar square. Uh, we will be solving third one afterwards. Fourth one, show that the sum of the lengths of projections of p i cap plus q j cap plus r k cap on the coordinate axis where p equal to 2 q equal to 3 and r equal to 4 is 9 obviously okay but we should not write obviously we begin with let a bar right on be p i cap plus uh, q j cap plus r k cap now projection you have to remember the formula projection of a bar on x axis is what it is a bar dot i cap upon what see projection on x axis so i have to consider mod of i cap right now what is a bar dot i cap okay i will not write directly i'll mention this p i plus q j plus r k this is not difficult dot i i means what i plus 0 j plus 0 k okay what is mod of i cap one it's a unit vector so this is nothing but p that's it why because it is p into 1 how to take dot product product of components of i cap here it is p here it is 1 plus product of components of j cap and k cap they are 0 so just p but p is given to be 2 it is given okay this means the component of i cap is the answer similarly i will not write that Similarly, projections of a bar on y axis equal to 3 and projection of a bar on z axis is 4. So what is sum of projections? See here you are supposed to write that what similarly projection of a bar on y axis 3 projection of a bar on z axis 4. So sum of projections is nothing but 2 plus 3 plus 4, which is nothing but 9. Now, first we solve sub number 6. Determine whether A bar and B bar are orthogonal, parallel or neither. See, uh, in I think there are 4 sub questions. 
all the vectors are non zero vectors so first you should see whether one can be expressed i mean one vector can be expressed as scalar multiple of other if this is so vectors are parallel because parallel means collinear then you have to find the dot product if dot product equal to zero vectors are at right angles that is orthogonal now if vectors are not parallel and not orthogonal then we have to say that means it is of the third type okay right now first one what is a bar minus 9 i cap plus 6 j cap plus 15 k cap can i take uh, minus 3 common so 3 i right minus 2 j minus 5 k this is number 1 what is b bar actually by observation also we can say that yes uh, they can be expressed as scalar multiple of other one can be expressed as scalar multiple of other rather and that is why otherwise we would have directly obtained dot product 6i minus 4j minus 10k okay so b bar is now i just take two common so 3i minus 2j minus 5k now observe this can i directly write a bar as what minus 3 upon 2 b bar just check this therefore you have to say as a bar is non zero scalar multiple of b bar a bar is parallel to b bar is that clear yes in fact uh, actually this is not proper to say that take the ratio ratio of two vectors is uh, is not defined but effectively what is a bar upon b bar Uh, this gets cancelled minus three by two, so a bar comes out to be minus three upon two b bar. Okay, so they are parallel. This is the first part. Now second part. A bar. Actually, my point is. why can't we write a bar as 2 comma 3 comma minus 1 the answer is if we write in this fashion we don't get marks and we want marks that's it but i think it is very uh, easy simple to write a vector in the form of its components please do not write like this so b bar is phi i cap minus 2 j cap Plus four k cap. What is a bar dot b bar? Now you will ask me, why not to, why not even try to express one as a scalar multiple of other? Observe the components. It is impossible, right? Uh, I'll tell you another method. Just take the ratio of components. If ratio is constant, then clearly they are parallel to each other. Okay, so dot product. Two into five plus three uh, into minus two plus minus one into four. So it comes out to be what? Ten minus six minus four equal to zero. Then you have to mention that a bar b bar are non-zero vectors and their dot product is zero. So vectors are orthogonal. a bar b bar are non zero therefore 
ए बार बी बार आर ऑर्थो गल गुड नाउ थर्ड पार्ट एक्चुअली इट इज नॉट ए बी सी डी इट इज वन टू थ्री सो थर्ड यू कैन कंप्लीट हियर और फॉर होमवर्क दे आर ऑर्थो गल ऑर्थोगोनल नंबर फोर वॉट इज ए बार ए बार इज फोर आई कैप माइनस जे कैप प्लस सिक्स के कैप प्लीज डू नॉट राइट इन दिस फैशन फोर माइनस वन सिक्स नो दीज आर द कॉम्पोनेंट्स यू बेटर राइट b bar as 5i cap minus 2j cap plus 4k cap i'm writing it as 5 minus 2 4 okay can we express one as a scalar multiple of other no i'll tell you the reason 5 upon 4 not equal to minus 2 upon minus 1 just forget it forgetting forgetting dot product a bar dot b bar so 4 into 5 minus 1 into minus 2 6 into 4 so it is what 20 plus 2 22 plus 24 it is 46 not equal to 0 so actually it is better if you say we cannot express one as a scalar multiple of other so they are not parallel dot product is not zero so they are not orthogonal a bar cannot be expressed as a bar equal to lambda b bar or just say that cannot be expressed as scalar multiple of other same thing and a bar dot b bar is not equal to 0 so vectors a bar b bar are neither parallel nor ortho one right seven find the angle p of the triangle whose vertices are p 0 minus 1 minus 2 q 3 1 4 and r 5 7 1 so this is triangle now p bar q bar r bar are the position vectors of the vertices find out pq bar which is q bar minus p bar find out pr bar which is r bar minus p bar find magnitudes of both the vectors what is pq bar dot pr bar 3 into 5 plus 2 into 8 plus 6 into 3 that is 49 okay now angle theta which is actually p between pq bar and pr bar is given by what basically pq bar dot pr bar is pq pr cos theta so it is cos theta pq bar dot pr bar upon pq pr pq means magnitude of pq bar so substitute to get 1 by root 2 but cos 45 degrees 1 by root 2 so correct answer is 45 degrees diagram is given p bar q bar r bar are unit vectors find p bar dot q bar p bar dot r bar uh, suppose triangle is abc ab bar is p bar ac bar is q bar bc bar is r bar now p bar q bar r bar are unit vectors so length ab equal to length ac equal to length bc equal to 1 so can i say that uh, therefore triangle is equilateral
triangle is equilateral therefore angle a equal to angle b equal to angle c equal to 60 degrees now it is cos 60 degrees it is nothing but half so p bar dot q bar will be what p q cos 60 degree that is 1 1 please do not use dot use bracket instead so this is half what is p bar dot r bar it is pr again angle is 60 degree so 1 1 half so this is nothing but 1 by 2 uh, this is an important sum prove by vector method that the angle subtended on a semi circle is a right angle uh so write down suppose ab is diameter of a circle write down suppose ab is diameter of a circle with center c suppose ab is diameter of a circle with center c and p capital p be any point on the circle capital p be any point on the circle other than a and b that is important other than a and b next line angle apb is subtended on a semi circle angle apb is subtended on a semi circle now see on the screen i will say let ac bar equal to what cb bar equal to a bar and i take cp bar as r bar okay now tell me what is ap bar ap bar is ac bar plus cp bar that is a bar plus r bar what is bp bar see for perpendicularity criterion is dot product should be zero so we have to prove that angle apb is a right angle right so we have to take dot product of ap bar and bp bar simple what will be bp bar it is bc bar plus cp bar i hope this is clear to you you may say bc bar is minus cb bar and then minus a bar plus r bar okay therefore ap bar dot bp bar now ap bar is what a bar plus r bar i can write it as r bar plus a bar addition is commutative dot r bar minus a bar um r bar dot r bar minus r bar dot a bar plus a bar dot r bar minus a bar dot a bar Mul uh, rather dot product is commutative okay so i write this as mod of r bar square uh, these two terms get cancelled mod of a bar rather square of mod of a bar right but note that this is nothing but zero why because i'll write that i have to mention the reason that ac equal to cp that is cp which is nothing but r is same as ac which is nothing but e okay now the dot product is zero 
therefore ap bar is perpendicular to bp bar both are non zero vectors therefore angle apb is a right angle is a right angle okay so after that we have to say hence the angle subtended on a semicircle is the right angle that's it for today